is Mary here from Memoir for Lawyers and Bridal. I'm going to show you how to make a boutonniere. Um, earlier in the previous one um, tutorial, I made a, a bridal bouquet and this garden rose, this pretty garden rose broke off. Um, so I'm going to use it to make a boutonniere. And um, first off is that we want to make sure we have some wires. So here I have a wire here. And I want to say this is about, I think a 28 gauge. So not too thick. Gonna cut the stem about two inches here. We want to make sure we only have maybe about an inch or so. Okay. So you can see I can cut, I cut it in an angle because we want it to taper down. Let's see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to poke through into the hip of the rose and I'm going to pull my wire through. Reason why is we use the wires is because it's for extra support and more flexibility after we create the boutonniere. If these right here are in your way, you can just go ahead and pull them off. Okay. And what we're gonna do with the floral tape is so floral tape, if this is the first time you're gonna be using it, when you stretch it, it sticks, okay? What we're gonna do is just put it up against the hip as close as possible. And then pull and twist at the same time. So I'm going to break this off and I'm gonna come closer, okay? So what we're doing is pull and twist diagonally coming down. Okay, that way it sticks. And we want to get to as close to the rose hip, rose head as possible here to cover up most of the rose hip. So I'm just gonna use this excess here. So we wanna make sure it's uniform. Okay, there, okay. But just for extra security and more for, you know, aesthetics, I'm going to go over it one more time. Again, I'm just going up against as high as the rose hip as, as I can. And then just pull and take all the way down. Okay, from here on, I'm going to add a little bit of a Dusty Miller accent just because the bouquet we made earlier. So I'm gonna use that as the backing. Okay, so pretty that is. And as far as these ones, you don't have to wire them. I'm just going to cut it so that it's about an inch down here. And I'm going to use small piece of seed yuke, there we go, that I had earlier, just to accent it on the base here. You can use baby's breath, you can use um, any other type of filler that you like, but I think the seed that you care would be appropriate just because it matches the bouquet that we just finished making earlier. So I like to bundle all of them together and then wrap, but if you feel like it's too much on your hands, you can go ahead and do, let's see, I got the Dusty Miller there and the, one of the seated you could with this. So I'm just gonna wrap a little bit there. Cut this off a little bit here. And from here, I have these excess stems. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to taper them and cut them off. Dusty Miller has a little thicker stem, so I'm gonna try to cut most of it off. And then I'm just gonna pull and wrap and twist again. Okay. And I might just add a little bit more eucalyptus there. Maybe not so much the leaves, just the eucalyptus. Okay. 
Hmm, I don't like how that one looks. When I make my boutonnieres, I kind of want to envision how it's going to sit on my grooms. So I like that, how it looks there. It's like the bridal bouquet is important, but the groom's boutonniere is just as important because he's going to be right beside your bride. So you want to make sure that he looks presentable. I mean, he as in the flower. Not the groom. I'm sure the groom is look is going to look presentable and nice and handsome in his suit. So here, so it would be pinned on just like that. Okay. Um, want to make sure we have a smooth. Okay, no bumps or stems or anything sticking out. So once that's done, um, you can leave it as is this way, or you can wrap it up with ribbon. You can wrap it up with anything else. Um, in this case, I'm just going to simply twist the bottom of it and I can do so with just any, I want to do so with the stem. Okay. You just go ahead and wrap and then twist it up. Okay. That way you have that little curly tip there. And I, I'm going to add a boutonniere pin. And we want to add it towards the back so that when the it's pinned, we don't get to see any pin holes in the front of the boutonniere. So I usually put two, not that they need it, it's because for extras, just in case. So again, as we did with the bouquet, I'm going to spray this with the clear light. Kind of seal in the moisture there. And then we just let it sit and air dry for about 10, 15 minutes before we put it into the cooler. Okay, there you go, voila. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, learned something useful today and till next time, bye.